In this A-level IB biology video, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about penicillin. Now, penicillin is an incredibly important antibiotic. And remember, antibiotics are substances which kill bacteria. Now, as with lots of scientific findings, this was a purely accidental finding by a scientist known as Alexander Fleming. It occurred in 1928. Now, effectively, what happened was that there was a Petri dish which contained a bacterium known as Staphylococcus aureus. This petri dish became contaminated with the fungus, the penicillin, and when Fleming checked his petri dish, he noticed that there was a clear zone where the bacteria couldn't grow, which was obviously huge because if you could find a way of manufacturing penicillin on an industrial scale, then it could be used to kill bacteria which have previously and historically infected humans. So let's make an additional note, which is that penicillin is a fungus. However, Fleming didn't really understand how huge his discovery was, and it wasn't until two more scientists came along, Florian Chain, and they realised that this had huge medical repercussions. So Florian Chain decided to infect mice with haemolytic streptococci. Now, some of these mice were treated with penicillin, while others were left untreated. And guess what? The ones which were treated with penicillin survived, whilst unfortunately the ones which were left untreated died. So how does the penicillin actually work? Well, notice it prevents cross-linking in bacterial cell walls. And without those cross-linkings, the bacteria effectively burst and die. Humans are unaffected which is obviously a good thing because it's all very well an antibiotic killing bacterial cells. If they were to cause damage to the human cell, then that would render them useless. Why are humans unaffected? Because they have no cell walls. And just as an aside, unfortunately viruses cannot be treated with penicillin because they're non-living and do not have cell walls.